Hi, I'm Luna Madi, Head of Communications for Europe, Middle East and Africa. We've just wrapped up ICANN 54 here in Dublin and had the chance to sit with both Steve Crocker and Fadi Shade. Let's have a look. So thank you very much both for being here this morning. Steve, let's start with you. Last night we seated three new members um, on the board. Um, can you tell us a little bit about them? Um, this is the time of year in which we do have uh, members departing and members arriving. Um, and uh, so it's always interesting and with a certain amount of anticipation who, who's going to come and how they're going to fit in. We have three spectacular new board members, uh, each very different from the other. Uh, we have uh, uh, Lido Ibarra from uh, Salvador uh, who has uh, one of the uh, irreplaceable credentials of having received the top level domain from El Salvador directly from John Postel. So uh, th there's a piece of history there that he brings. Um, uh, very nice guy, deeply knowledgeable. And we have Ron De Silva, who's uh, 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 part of one of the major ISPs in the US. Um, deep technical background and a lot of managerial experience. And uh, Luis uh, van der Laan, um, with uh, enormous political skills, enormous energy, and uh, just uh, uh, making a strong impression on everybody. Um, w the people that have left have also made their marks and uh, uh, sort of bittersweet uh, uh, sense of loss there. But uh, uh, the new people are incredible. Good to hear. So with this new board, what are your hopes for them? Well, the hopes for the board really are very much entwined with hopes for ICANN and for the internet community as a whole. Um, uh, all of us have been involved uh, rather intensively with the transition process and most particularly with the uh, development of the accountability mechanisms that are coming out of the CCWG. And the board is as uh, enmeshed and uh, involved in that as every other part of the community. Um, from my perspective, I have two hopes. One is, of course, that that process goes through and continues and uh, it's looking pretty good actually. Uh, and that we have a lot to do to execute and put those pieces together. And then uh, uh, we have the regular business uh, of what ICANN is all about and uh, the board is focused on how to continually improve ICANN, how to get our, our regular order of business taken care of and uh, to move things to the next level. Thank you. Fadi, so this week has been busy. How do you characterize the progress that has been made on the IANA stewardship transition during ICANN 54 in Dublin? I think this week exceeded all expectations. We have come together. We have built consensus. We have removed many of the uh, misunderstandings uh, and the community has come together. We cannot ask for more. Dublin has been good to us. And I think as we leave Dublin uh, from this week, we still have work to do to complete this transition. But I think a clear path is drawn now and everyone is in sync as to what we still need to do to get it done. And that in itself is a great triumph for Dublin. So yes, the community has worked tirelessly on this. And what would you advise um, the community moving forward to keep this momentum going? I think the spirit of Dublin needs to continue. The spirit of uh, working together, of understanding each other, of listening to each other. Uh, endless hours were spent here in Dublin. Uh, either in meeting rooms or in the hallways or sometimes in the pubs that enabled people to listen and to understand each other. I think we have narrowed the remaining questions to very few that I believe are very much addressable uh, with the continued commitment to the core values that brought us together from the very beginning. And they were evident this week, uh, frankly, uh, remarkably so. Uh, what binds us together, the principles that bind us together, got us uh, great success this week. Still have work to do, and we cannot lose this great momentum, but I think the weeks ahead will be important, and we are all committed to get the job done. In fact, many teams are already starting meetings today in the hours ahead of me. Excellent. And Steve, today is the second anniversary for the new generic top-level domains program and which happens also to have been the first f um, with the four um, domains being internationalized domain names. How do you think the program has progressed so far and where are we with that? 
the internationalized domain names are a, a, a very big deal, and uh, it's, I'm glad that you've mentioned that. Uh, and that's uh, a key to ha opening up the internet uh, beyond its uh, Western and American roots to embrace uh, the entire globe. Uh, so I think we're all proud of that, and we're all very, very pleased to see that that aspect has been successful. On the generic names, uh, uh, generic uh, new TTLDs in general, uh, that has been progressing. Uh, uh, it, it is um, almost exactly a case of let a thousand flowers bloom and uh, with the implication that there will be some that will do well and some less well. Uh, the full results are not in, but uh, I am seeing uh, considerable pressure for let's get more and let's open up the next round as rapidly as possible. Um, I'm, I'm personally of the mindset that we want to be careful, like to take the lessons that are there to be learned from the, from the current experience. Uh, but I understand and fully appreciate that uh, we should move forward uh, with all due speed. Yeah, and on the IDNs, by the way, here in uh, Dublin, one of the many things we got done is we signed uh, with the Catholic Church uh, the uh, .catholic top-level domain uh, in Chinese, uh, in Arabic, in Cyrillic, and of course in Latin characters. That was a great, uh, um, frankly, uh, use of the internationalized uh, domain name system uh, for an institution that's in many ways universal. So uh, we're delighted that this happened here in Dublin. Um, and Steve, in 2016, well, 2016 brings a new meeting strategy into effect. How will that impact the meetings moving forward um, and the community as well? Uh, quite a lot of work went into uh, making the decision to adjust the way we have the meetings. So in, in some sense, uh, the broad scope of having three meetings a year remains in place, but we've adjusted uh, what to do during those meetings and uh, the biggest change we we'll have an A meeting early in the year, a B meeting in the middle of the year which is somewhat shorter and more focused with less of the formalities and uh, more working sessions and then a C meeting at the end of the year that is uh, got all of this stuff that we usually do plus some outreach uh, and uh, uh, attempt to communicate with the, uh, with the rest of the world that does not normally pay attention to I can so much. Uh, as with any new program, uh, a lot of thought goes into it and uh, a lot of organization. And there's also a certain amount of uh, hope and uh, waiting to see how it works out. So next year will be the test and uh, I expect that we'll, we'll find out. Um, I expect most of it will work well and I expect we'll find some things that we'll uh, want to learn out of that. Uh, it'll cause some adjustments uh, down at the second and third levels of things. I just came out of a meeting in which I was saying, okay, how do we fit uh, one of our programs into this and where does it fit uh, smoothly in? Um, but uh, change like this uh, always brings a certain sense of renewed energy uh, and uh, uh, thoughtfulness about how we operate. And uh, so I'm very much looking forward to that. And Fadi, that brings us to Marrakesh, which will be the first time this is in effect um, next year in, um, in March. How do you feel about the meeting and how important is it to take place in Africa? I am really looking forward to Marrakesh for three reasons. One, Marrakesh will be a meeting in Africa that will celebrate this great continent, a continent that is dear to me, but also dear to many of us at ICANN who believe that ICANN's place in Africa is important in bringing together this fast-growing uh, community into the fold in every way we can is important. Marrakesh will be a chance to do that, to deepen our roots in Africa and to connect with the African people uh, at all levels. We plan to bring uh, high-level ministers, we plan to bring uh, businesses, business representatives from Africa. We have plans to also bring students from various universities in Africa to the meeting so that this becomes a meeting not just in Africa but about Africa. The second reason Marrakesh will be great is because Marrakesh may be when we could celebrate the multi-stakeholder models delivery of a proposal to the US government. 
And that in itself is a huge celebration. It's a triumph of our model, a model that says that a public-private partnerships between governments and businesses and users and civil society work, and they produce results. And so all the work we've done to prepare for this transition will culminate in delivering a multi-stakeholder bottom-up consensus proposal to the U.S. government to complete our independence. And I hope that by Marrakesh, we can all be celebrating uh, very much the delivery of that proposal. And of course, finally, uh, Marrakesh will be my last meeting as president and CEO of ICANN. And for me, it will be a chance to make sure that my successor uh, can be handed an ICANN, uh, that uh, he or she can continue growing in, a, in, a, in the same spirit, in a spirit that is rooted in our principles of openness, of inclusivity, uh, in our spirit of independence that will hopefully be then closer uh, and certainly the integrity of the system and of the internet uh, layer that we are responsible for. So I'm looking forward to introduce him uh, or her to our community and to work with him to transfer all of the goodwill and capital we've built so that he or she can continue in this great endeavor. A lot of work. So just to wrap up, any final words either one of you would like to say? We're, uh, we're sitting here in the convention center overlooking the river on a very calm and peaceful morning with the sun coming up. And it, is, uh, it resonates with exactly the spirit coming out of this meeting that uh, uh, I'm dressed here informally, ready to go to work on the substance, uh, never mind all of the posturing. And, uh, and it's a, uh, just a delightful day um, and a perfect setting, and uh, it couldn't be better. Indeed, I would second uh, Steve's comment about uh, the difference in the tone of how we entered Dublin and how we're exiting Dublin. We entered with a lot of questions and tribulations and concerns, uh, but we are exiting Dublin calm, confident, and clear on the path forward to complete the transition from the USG stewardship leading ICANN to a very good place, a place where the global community feels that we have a partnership to maintain our work. So I'm delighted. This has been a very good meeting. And thank you, Steve. And thank you. And thank you very much for this interview today. I think we've covered a lot of points. And good luck and safe travels. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.